In providing our skeptical friends with reasoning for our faith, we can use what is known as the argument for time and contingency. Point 1. Observation. Things come in and out of being. Point 2. Whatever came into being and came out of being never evidentially needed to be. Point 3. The state of non-being was a possibility for everything. Point 4. If nothing was the case for everything, we should not exist right now. Point 5. If the universe began, the origin of the universe had to have happened, and thus the universe had a point of non-existence. Point 6. Nothing can only produce nothing. Point 7. The universe could not exist if it came from nothing. Point 8. If the universe never came to be, it always had the built-in capability to have never been. Point 9. If infinity passed without the universe coming into being, then you could not say the universe had any real possibility of being. Point 10. Something would have needed to exist that cannot not exist, quintessential to the existence of all, i.e. necessary. Final point. That absolutely necessary being is God. By looking to scripture, we can see that the author of our salvation is without beginning or end. The only one from everlasting, and who reigns forever and ever, as this is God who is manifest in the flesh through Jesus Christ the Lord. You personally are not that infinite being and your reliance on things outside of yourself is determined. The thing that made you must have always been without the need to begin or end, and is quintessential for anything that has, is, and or will be. John 1 verse 3 All things were made by him and without him was not anything made that was made.